55 years ago, a few of God's children attempted to march from Brown Chapel Amy Church across this bridge. We were beaten, we were tear gas. I thought I was going to die on this bridge. But somehow, in some way, God Almighty helped me here. We cannot give up now. We cannot give in. We must keep the faith. Keep our eyes on the prize. We must go out and vote like we never, ever voted before. Some people gave more than a little blood. Some gave their very lives. Yes. So I said to each and every one of you, especially you young people, the fraternities and sororities. Yes, sir. You look good. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You look colorful. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yes. Go out there. Yeah. Speak up. Yeah. Speak out. Yeah. Get in the way. Yeah. Get in good trouble. Good trouble. Yeah. That's every trouble. And help redeem the soul of America. Yeah. Amen. And each and every one of you. I'm not going to give up. No. I'm not going to give in. No. No. We're going to continue to fight. We need your prayers now more than ever before. Let's do it. Let's do it. Selma is a different place. America is a different place. But we can make it much better. We must use the vote as a non-violent instrument or tool to redeem the soul of America. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Listening there to Congressman John Lewis addressing the crowd on the Edmund Pettus Bridge 55 years after he says he was tear gassed and attacked by police for simply peacefully marching for the right to vote. He and a number of other African Americans and people of color and minorities did so. Um, in efforts that were a huge uh, consequential part of the civil rights movement and led to the passage of the Voting Rights Act. Uh, he said there, you cannot give up, um, you cannot give in, keep your eye on the prize, imploring everyone there to vote like they've never voted before, to speak up, to speak out, and to get into trouble, as the congressman describes it, the good kind of trouble um, that makes the United States a more equal place. So uh, we've been watching this moment, live pictures coming to us from Selma, Alabama, as some of the Democratic candidates for president uh, link arm in arm there with other civil rights leaders to highlight the importance of this location and this date. We've also been speaking with our CBS News uh, political contributor, Antoine Seawright, who uh, comes from a long line of folks who've been part of this fight. His uncle, Bishop Seawright, um, overseeing important services there in Selma. I don't know if uh, Antoine is still on the phone with us. I am. Um, uh, what do you make of, of that moment hearing Congressman Lewis? I mean, I tend to get chills having uh, you know, interviewed him and, and spoken to him there at that location. Uh, what's going through your mind at this moment? Well, a lot. I think my mind just crashed. You know, I spent so much time with John Lewis, um, and he's such a close personal friend to my family. Uh, and just seeing him in that moment, considering what he's going through, the fact that he made the sacrifice in spite of everything he has going on in his life uh, to be there on Bloody Sunday uh, says everything about who he is and who what we have to do in order to ensure him that the next generation uh, is going to make this little idea called America better than we found it. Um, and, and it's just an emotion. It's just it's a, it's very emotional for me. Uh, I was there last year with him. Uh, I spent time with him in the 2018 midterms. Um, John Lewis is a special person because of his sacrifices. Uh, little Antoine Seawrights can now uh, be on the CBS network. Uh, we can show up to vote. We can help steer elections, help steer voters to the polls, lead registration drives, and we can groom the next generation of John Lewis's who hopefully will not have to march uh, for the same purposes that he did or not have the same fight that we have now. We really appreciate your insight, both political and personal, uh, Antoine. Thank you for your time as we bring these live pictures to everyone. And we apologize for the quality, 
but we wanted to show you what's happening right now in real time.